Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c squared minus c cubed is equals to 12 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So you see here this is a cubic equation uh, or in other words the highest power of this equation is 3. Uh, this means that this equation has 3 roots. So now uh, here we find all that 3 roots of this equation. So here first we rewrite this equation as now here we move this 12 in the left hand side and it will be written as c square minus c cubed this is plus 12 when we move in the left hand side it will become minus 12 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here further in the next step uh, here we convert <coughs> or we break this 12 as in this form this is c square minus c cubed we write this 12 as minus 8 minus 4 is equals to 0 and now we uh, write here uh, 8 and 4 into the cube and square form and it will be written as c square minus c cubed minus we write this 8 as 2 cubed and we write this 4 as 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and square term with square term. So here we have this is c square minus this is our 2 square and here we need to take common minus sign and we get the remaining values are c cubed plus 2 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in order to solve further uh, we need two nice formulas here so uh, here in the first factor we apply here this formula you know that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b and here we use the cubic formula and you know that if we have a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So here we need these two formulas to solve the above equation. So here in the first factor we use here the first formula. So according to this formula we write this factor as uh, c square minus 2 square becomes c minus 2 times of c plus 2 minus here we apply the cubic formula and it will be written as c plus 2 times of c square minus a b so here our a is c and b is 2 plus b square b is 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, you see here from both of these terms we have c plus 2 be the common term so that we will take common c plus 2 and we get the remaining values are uh, c plus 2 into here we get c minus 2 and here we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will be written as minus c square and this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 times of c and this is minus times of plus becomes minus and 2 square equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step we need more simplifications and here we add or subtract the like terms and we have c plus 2 times. Here first we write this is minus c square and this c plus 2c equals to 3c and minus 2 and minus 4 is equals to minus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write c plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write minus c squared plus 3c minus 6 equals to 0. So from this case we easily get the first root of the given equation that is c is equals to minus 2 and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve uh, this quadratic equation and in order to solve this quadratic equation first we uh, write this into the standard form for this we will just multiplying on uh, both of the sides by minus 1. So when you multiply each of these uh, terms by minus 1 uh, it will be written as c square 
minus 3c and plus 6 is equals to 0. So now here we write this uh, quadratic equation. Uh, 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 here this is quadratic equation and there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is uh, factorization and completing square method and the third one is uh, by applying the quadratic formula. So here we uh, uh, apply the quadratic formula to solve this uh, uh, equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 6. And we state the quadratic formula as c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here. So after substituting these values it will be written as c is equals to minus b. Uh, so we have the value of b is minus 3 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 6 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes 3 and plus minus square root of minus 3 square equals 9 this is uh, 4 times of 6 becomes here 24 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c is equals to 3 plus minus square root of this is 9 minus 24 uh, and 9 minus 24 is equals to 15 so you get here this is minus 15 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, finally, in the final step, you see here we have the negative sign appears inside the square root. Uh, so, it will be written as square root of uh, 15 into, we know that when negative sign appears inside the square root, it will become here iota and it is divided by 2. So, finally, we have the, there are three roots of the given equation and uh, these three roots are, uh, the first root is c1 is equals to minus 2 second root is c2 is equals to here we choose the positive value it is 3 plus uh, square root of 15 into iota divided by 2 and c3 is equals to 3 minus square root of 15 into iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.